This is something that nobody prepares for, and I'm trying to tell you guys, but how could you work like that? Can you work like that? Hello, my sniffers. Okay, guess what? I'm here today with Heather, and we are going to an adopt a bird appointment at a parrot sanctuary. She contacted me and said, I'm going to a parrot sanctuary. Do you want to come? I didn't know that she's seriously thinking of adopting a bird. She loves my birds, but I'm driving with her this whole way, giving her the lecture on why she doesn't want a bird. I read a text to her from my friend that said, basically in a nutshell, I don't know what to do. I love my bird, but the bird screams every time I leave the room, only wants to be with me, won't let anybody else hold it, completely destroys stuff all day long. It's very hard for me to work with a bird screaming in my ear. It sounds like a dream come true. Yeah, it sounds like a dream come true. That's what I told this person before they got a bird. <laughs> now, here's the thing. What I told Heather is that that's all birds. Yeah. All birds are like that. Right. So are you seriously going to like try to adopt Possibly something? so. Uh, listen, I grew up with budgies and cockatiels. And of course, I've been over to your house and I love your birds. I'm enamored. When she has parties, I don't really talk to the people. I talk to the birds. And I would love to rescue if I can, because God knows there's plenty of animals that need rescuing, right? Yeah, it, it's good that you want to rescue, but I will say, you know like how people talk about babies and they say, I love visiting the babies and then I can give them back. Right. That's why you like birds at my house. But I liked my birds growing up. But I would spend hours in my room. That was like a cockatiel, which is right? the best. And you know when you're a kid and you have nothing else to do but play? Yeah. That's kind of me anyway at this stage of the game. I hope so, because I'm telling Pretty you. Much like, so. so you think you're ready for a bird? Hell yeah. Are you ready for a toddler? Like, do you want to be a mom again? Um, forever. A mom forever. Yeah. I am a mom, so a mom forever sounds but pretty good. Your daughter's like grown now. Like, yeah, she is. How do you feel about Plus, she is a huge animal person. So yeah. it's not like. But what if the I bird only be... likes one of you? That's um, what's going to happen. Well, what happens if one of them leaves and isn't around? That's the problem. Then the bird screams his head off. And, and hates and, you. Yes. And then it gets very angry until your daughter comes back or won't let your daughter be stress-free because you're not home. Have you thought about this? Yes. No. Kind of, yes. No, this because, never could have occurred well, to you. Yes, because no. I went over to your house. And when I went over there with my first Leo liked me, okay, and then I took my daughter over there and he was like, oh, oh you're so pretty <laughs> to my daughter. And so I was shafted, okay, and so whenever I bring her over, I'm not the special one anymore. So I kind of just came to... Yeah, but maybe that's why you're in search of being special. And now when you're going to go find your special bird, you're going to bring it home and it could love her. And then what happens? Well, then that's her bird. And I will love it. And get another and one for yourself. Share and get another one for myself. Because God knows you can never have too many birds. Really. <laughs> yes, you six. can. Six. Okay, yes, you two can. Or three. Okay, the good news here is we're going to the rescue. We're going to check it out. We're going to watch her go through the process of possibly wanting a bird. I feel like I'm in military boot camp. Like, I better shape up or ship out. So listen, here's the thing. The reason that I'm trying to discourage you from getting a bird is because what happens all the time is people see birds. They're amazing. They're fascinating. You can't get enough. Nobody that comes to my house ever gets enough of them. They're obsessed. But then they get one and they say, oh my God, I wasn't ready to be a mom or I'm over being a mom or I am I have to keep my eye on this bird all day long. Oh my God, yeah. if I'm not with it, it's in the cage. I feel guilty right. and all these things. And then they give the bird up and it's really emotionally traumatic for birds. Right. So that's why I get you. we discourage people from right. getting birds. And I would have him or her like be with me, travel with me love me and 
always be there. Is there I would a, always be there. Is there a chance? Unless there wasn't. Is there a chance you're looking for love and not a bird? Probably. So then maybe this isn't the best No, idea. but I'm, I love animals. What animals do you have at home right now? I have two dogs. All mine are rescued. Two dogs and three cats. Oh, I don't know. How are you going to bring a bird home to those well, animals? Well, I would definitely make sure that they are um, supervised at all times. I think this is going to be a lot for you. Because you now have to take a bird home and then supervise it with all of these animals all of the time. Well, the bird would be with me. All and the then time. where do the animals go after that? Well, they can be around so what long if, as I'm in the area. What kind of dogs do you have? A greyhound. Don't and they like chase things? Well, they did chase a rabbit. Or not a rabbit. But it's it's not a rabbit anymore. It's, she's a rescue. She doesn't chase. And I've gotten, she lives with cats. We'll see. We'll see, except you can't take it home and see. You might have a difficult house to bring a bird to. Because then all those animals are going to get booted. There's no way. You have to have the bird out all the time. And unless you train every single cat. And cat saliva is like toxic. So even if the cat like licks the bird. It's toxic to the Uh oh, that I didn't know. Or when a bird's wings flap. Oh my god, Marlene, don't don't break break or burst my bubble. No, but it has to be safe for the bird. You have to think of these things. This is yeah. the thing, nobody thinks of these things. Maybe we're going up for a bird for Marlene. Just no, in no. the meantime. Well we'll Picasso. go look. Okay, I'll let, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave her with Wait, that for but now. You've got Starbucks. Let's Let's think for a second. I've got a baby cat that came into the house with lots of birds. Right. And she has her own territory. And she's like one cat. Now you see all my dogs. They don't even chase birds out in the wild. Right. It's not impossible. By the way, it's not impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm, I'm getting, just saying. I'm getting anxiety. Okay, well, wait. Well, I'm, we're going to stop anxiety. this and let her get, get driving. <laughs> And then we'll continue this when we're oh there. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. You're not in trouble. We're gonna go just give love to some birds right now and see what you think. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I think we're at a house, so I might not film it. I don't know. Oh, she meant I have to go all the way down there. <laughs> I refused to get in her car. I was like, I'm out in the sun. I don't want to go back in. Oh, okay. It's not that far. Okay, good. Hey, guys. We are inside Parrots First. It's amazing in here. All the birds have huge cages, play stands, tons and tons of toys. Um, we are in a house, so you do have to make an appointment if you did want to come down here. And basically, they have have a lot of foster facilities for the birds so that's how they're able to take care of so many of them and you guys it literally is like my house times I don't know 10 in here but the birds are like out and happy and beautiful and understood like those guys you guys see them the two macaws in their box it's just like how Vinny has to have his box it's amazing but you guys know how it is with birds and Heather's learning right now about how hard it is to take care of birds. So that's why we promote responsible parrot companionship. So um, let's just get a word in here. My name's Rose Levine. I'm the founder of Parrots First. We founded Parrots First about 22 years ago and we've adopted out probably more than 250 birds. She told me that you offer a class and you won't let any birds go without a class. What do you teach in the class? The class is basics. We have found over the years that even people who've had birds in their care for many years have not kept up on what, what is right and what, what to do with the birds. You know, it used to be believed that you just gave them a bowl of seeds and that was it. And we never saw the vet. People complain that they got a toy for their bird, but the bird chewed it up so oh they don't God. get them anymore. So we educate people, and especially those who've already had birds. It's amazing what you do because it takes a special person to handle birds and that's why everybody wants birds when if you love animals and you meet a bird you want a bird but it's just it's one of the hardest animals to own and to have because you gotta keep the bird with you all day long because keep in mind it's not like your dog your bird is in a cage locked up if you're not giving it that consistent attention and not only that birds cannot be 
not watched, if you guys know what I mean. Like, my dog could be outside, but if my bird is quiet, something's up. Like, they're eating your wall or your, your chairs. Or, we, have, we have doors that have holes in them. We have uh, woodwork on. Yeah. We can't leave them unattended. It's, you can't teach them not to chew. Yeah. You can give them plenty of things to chew in their cage, but if you don't watch them, they can't tell the difference. They'll eat your baseboards, they'll eat your table, they'll eat everything. They eat all my chairs. <laughs> yeah, you can't have wood furniture, you can't have Teflon pans, you can't have certain plants, you can't have fans on, you gotta be careful of ovens, your whole life changes. Do you have cats, cats, saliva, toxic, like, it's just never ending, so you may not be the right person for a parrot, and if you commit to a parrot and give it up, it's detrimental to the bird. And there's an example of how loud parrots can be on top of all this. So, we're here looking for a potential companion for Heather. What do you think so far? I want them all and I love them all, but I know that I am not prepared to have all of them. What about one of them? One of them, <laughs> yeah, but which one? Ready? Be a sniff so good. Come on bird, you know you sniff so good. Sometimes birds just smell like they should. Whoa! So you gotta learn the song. This is gonna be good. Do it again. They, I liked. I liked your right. addition there. That was good. Ready? Yeah. You like it? You sniff so good. Come on, bird. You know you sniff so good. Sometimes birds just smell like they should. Whoa! You sniff so good. Yay! Yay! You're a dancer. the sniffer song. She wants the sniffer song. Maybe we should go do the sniffer song for her. Shut. She's gonna need the the rock version of the sniffer song. Okay, you go for the rock version. Well, no, I don't know if I can. I'm just saying. This is Ozzy. Ozzy's looking for a really good home with a patient person. And then Ozzy's gonna turn into the best bird in the world. There's a lot of beautiful birds here. There's those two in the box that don't want me to come over there. Do you want dancing to the sniffer song? You wanna try? I know you like dancing. You sniff so good. Come on bird, you know you sniff so good. Sometimes birds just smell like they should, whoa. <laughs> you sniff so good. Yeah, you're getting into it now, I see. Ty loves dancing. I do you? Yeah, Does he dance? We'll sit there after you know, going, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Right, and start singing. That's so funny because my macaw, he insists that I sing to him every night. And he goes like this, like with his hands, which means sing. And so I started letting him watch TV that has like music in it. So now he screams to watch TV. He has to watch TV. He has to watch Empire because he loves the music. <laughs> you want to dance. One of their sleep cage and then another one has sleep cage because they sleep better if they're alone. Yeah, I think a lot of birds do. So do people sometimes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Get out. This is Merlin. Merlin's beautiful. Look at all the toys the birds have, guys. They're so well taken care of. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in there, but all these birds have so many toys. This is, I have one, believe me, I know. He wants attention. Do you want to dance? Oh, baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? Look at the hair going up. She's like, yeah, hi. <laughs> that something wasn't right, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. I'm expecting a dance here. Tell me. You th I don't know all the Britney Spears. Job, you're the singer here. No, but I don't know Britney Spears. Here. You know Britney Spears. That's gonna have to be Marley and McCollin. Not my fault, my birds listen to Britney. So you have this guy right here that's 
super playful. Once you get a bird like this home and you're the sole person, right. then they're gonna, like right now, this bird is, is feeling like a bond to her. So like, right, I see he, that. Does, he doesn't like to come off it's of like, her to me right. or anything like that. So that's the way it works. That's also a dynamic that might happen with you and your daughter that you have to be you know, aware of. That happens a lot when you adopt out a bird. One person in the couple wants the bird, the other one really is just Doesn't going along. Bird. And then the bird bonds with the one who the didn't want a bird. Yeah. And the other one is upset, and we either end up taking the bird back, or they decide to get another bird for the other person. <laughs> yeah. right. And then okay. that bird loves that person too. Right, right. <laughs> all, of the, all of the cockatoos that we have yeah. adore my husband. <laughs> So what do you, you want to talk to about? Hi. They are a bit loud in the green cheeks. Hi, what's wrong? You want to now, guys, you hear the bird in the back? That's a bird just like Ty, a lesser sulfur-grassed cockatoo. And that's what it's like when you turn your back on a bird. So, I mean, this is something that nobody prepares for. And I'm trying to tell you guys, but... How could you work like that? Can you work like that? You have to really think. Can you do your school homework? Is your mom going to allow that? Now, what about you? What about this bird? How's this bird's temperament? Uh, Xerxes. Xerxes is pretty, pretty mellow. Xerxes? Does Xerxes, would Xerxes step up to her? It, Xerxes might. Out of all the parrots here, which of the birds do you not have a bond with? That one. Does Merlin like your husband? No, Merlin doesn't seem like he anybody. He doesn't like anyone. Merlin? Would like Not yet. Yes. You don't like anybody yet? He likes his... I see, oh. I see you're putting your footsie down. That's okay. That's okay. Do you Merlin like... takes treats from us and goes in the cage when I ask him to, but... He's not a fan. He's not happy. What's the matter, Merlin? What's the matter? You know it's okay, right? It's okay. You're a good bird. You're a good bird. Yeah. Have you ever said we have that? had so many African greys over the years, and I, but Merlin is the best talker, whisperer, singer that we've ever had. What do you talk about, Merlin? <laughs> Oh, do you like the camera? You look interested. He is. You like that? What are you interested in? I, I was setting up his cage. I was trying to do something and I said, oh, that's not going to work. So then the next day I came and putting the paper in and he looked down at me and said, that's not going to work. <laughs> are you serious? You said that's not going to work? Let's <laughs> check temperament. Is that scary to you? A little? A little? Have you ever stepped up on anybody before? 20 years with the same woman, yes. He, she could do anything with him. Oh, really? I think he's still getting over it. So. Hold this. Hi, Mama. How are you doing? Do you want to step up? Are you a little heartbroken? Do you want to step up here? You want to come down a little bit? Let's come down. Do you want to come down here? You thinking about it? Yeah, that's too much. The door opened for you, right? Okay. We won't change anything. Let's just talk, okay? So smart. Let's just talk. How are you doing? You're beautiful. When I change his food and water, and he'll yell it to me, I want water. You want water? <laughs> you know, I think that when they have a little bit of the red factor, I think they're like geniuses. I literally do. I said he looks at me like I'm stupid. <laughs> what happened? You're missing some feathers? Where did they go? Did you pull them out? I would do that too. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to step up? No, that's okay. That's okay if you don't want to. That's okay. Okay, you're on the ground. This is good news because when... African greys are on the ground, they might consider stepping up. Would you consider stepping up? Yeah. You're so handsome.
Okay, okay, I'll just sit here. Hi, beautiful bird. Who's so pretty? Is this like a case of a bird that's like testing me out? Do you know what I mean? The yeah. bird's like, it'll be difficult. Yeah. But I see something. It's like typical African gray behavior. They're so smart. Yeah. That I think my brother is babysitting an African gray, um, an umbrella cockatoo, and a rose breasted cockatoo of my fans right now. And he said what he noticed is like the gray is just watching and absorbing all day long. That's yeah. his first like experience with a, a, a gray in his house all day. probably wants to be like a one bird person yeah. so like if he he loves the noise though he he talks to them and sings to them. George used to do that walk backwards like my bird George my yeah right you want to step up oh that was fast I'm sorry I know you weren't expecting it yeah. good boy it's okay I'm here for you I promise your name is Merlin and mine is Marlene you see this is good news I totally get you. Hi. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. You are so handsome. Oh yeah. my god. You want to go potty? Go potty first. Okay, he went potty. Good boy. Okay, I'm not moving fast. Yeah. Step up. Good boy. Good boy. Beautiful. It's okay. You scared of the camera? It's okay. 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 We're coming over we're here. Good. We're good. Good boy, Merlin. We're good. Good. good we're good. You're a good bird. You know that? You're no, no scary. No scary. You're a good bird. Okay. So guys, in a case like this, if you actually get the bird on your hand, you want to take it out of its territory and work with it. So the bird right now is looking for anything familiar that it can stand on, you know, preferably his cage. But if I was to take him out of this situation and work with him, then I would have developed with him so much farther. It's okay. Now this is when you do the step up. He wants to go somewhere, so you start practicing step up. Good bird. Yay. Good bird, it's okay. But you see his cage is there, so that's why it's not working. But if you can use that to do the step up, he's aware. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy, Merlin. You're a good Yay, boy. You're so handsome. You are handsome. I know it's loud. It's okay. We're good. And then you want to make sure your hand is all stable because birds don't trust instability. So you know. And then when you're new to a bird, don't put them on your shoulder real quick or anything because you just don't know. Birds are unpredictable. Now, African greys typically won't talk in front of anybody new. No. Like, at all. <laughs> it's okay. Did you flight it? Yeah. I'm afraid he'll fly, like, into the window or something. Do you want to go down? We can step down here. Look, 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 look. Let's step down here so you know that I will put you in a safe spot. Okay, you're good. And then we can try again. <coughs> you're good. Who's cruising the table? Oh, you've got newspapers. Do you want to step up again? So, Rose, is this the first time he's been on? I mean, has he stepped up for you and been able to go on the table? He's stepped up for me when he's on the floor. On the floor. Step up. Okay. On the cage. Good bird! Good bird! Yeah! Who's a sweetie? You're such a good bird! Aww. You are. It's so like handsome. I know you're nervous. This is different. I know you're nervous. Oh. But he trusts me. He does trust so, you. So like, now a bird like this, I could take anywhere in the house because at least he'd step up and then just hang out with him and just include him in everything. I go shower, put him on the top. I go eat, I put him on a stand next to me. If he doesn't want to be on me, he's on a stand next to me. I watch TV, I put the bird there. This is how you get a bird tame. Right. And that's the problem here because with so many birds, he doesn't have all of that. Oh. That's the, that's why I always say like the the next bird like my bird Rocky he is on the call. He was like the fifth bird in my house, and being the fifth bird, he 
next and next one will be into the family and also the less attention they're going to get so they might not talk as much or they might not react as much or they might not tell you as much as they need you're okay you are so so handsome. you're so so good you're such a good boy you're such a good boy i'm good to steal a kiss Aww. do you want to go for a little walk do you want to go for a walk short walk look okay where are you Start going? Here. Where are you going? You know, he's not, he's not concerned about my, like, like I even have my finger over his foot. He's not so concerned. It's more like he is curious and hasn't seen everything yet. Are you curious? What are you curious about? Yeah. Hello. Hi, I'm Sometimes African oh, greys need to scope out their whole surroundings so they have in their head what it is that they're missing out on because they're that smart and they need to be aware. Okay, look. You see? You're good. That's it. Nothing scary anywhere. You see he saw and he chilled out? Yes. Yeah. He needs to know like, who's where. You have beautiful red feather. Step up. You are a wow, good boy. You're so good. So good. And then when you're training, keep them lower than you. Okay. I mean, this actually could be a good bird for you. Me? Really? I'm not kidding. Wow. Yeah, because they're a little bit easier. African grays, you kind of have to chase them around less, except for my Cody, who's a nutcase. And they're in deeply intellectual. He's a little bit of a bigger bird. So yeah. if you have other animals. I bet I could put him on you right now. Okay, watch. Hold on. Okay, well, do I want my hand like yours? Or do I want my arm? You can put your finger like mine. We could do arm, I could get him on your arm. Let's see. Okay. No, see. and then fingers. fingers. The other way. This way? Yeah. No? Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Are you going to be a shoulder, Merlin? Are you gonna go on the shoulder? You're gonna go on the but shoulder. But this is honestly okay. Put your arm out again. You're gonna go on the shoulder. You're good. You're, You're good. Step up. Alright, so just for reduced to yeah, maybe. Just for reduced to a one person, so. Yeah. <clears throat> he so he's like, me. don't make me be on multiple people. But if yeah. I put the camera down, it'd be easier. Wow, look at what we did. Yeah. I knew you would do it. Okay, but now put your other hand in between me and, and you see like, but this way, this way. They like perch, but thumb down, hide the thumb. Yeah, there you go. Make it higher than him. There you go. Now do the other side. There you go. Step up, step up. Be strong because if he needs to have a, exactly, lower than you, lower than you. There you go. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Always have a strong, firm hand. Okay. And they don't like their friends. It's just awkward. Yeah. I just tried it. So, uh, my assessment so far, I love that you guys are hearing this because, yeah. you know. Right? The fact that we got Merlin, you told me that Merlin really hasn't gone to anyone. No. No. And when I heard that Merlin used to be a one person bird with somebody, I was like, oh, we can make this bird come around. And I know African greys, when they get on the ground, they don't like to be on the ground. They'll they'll step up to you. So we worked with that. Now, in my assessment of what bird here needs, like, would do best out of here in a home, it would be Merlin. Because Merlin doesn't like the noise of the other birds so much. And Merlin needs a one woman person. My assessment of the best bird for Heather is to seriously take the bird would be Merlin. Because African greys kind of are the type of bird that they're not as big clowns. And they kind of will sit and chill. I mean, we know Cody's a clown, but George wasn't. 
they're intellectuals. You can still work. They're not screaming like the cockatoo in the back. They're more so talking. Conyers will also do their screaming a lot less, but it's still loud. And the fact that we got Merlin to step up on Heather, I think is a big deal, honestly. Yay. So we and have to see. He's like 20, is that right? He's Hi, already are talking. You talk? No, he talks really well, but Can like talk the you? fact that some vocalizations are coming out of him when African Grays won't Hi. really talk if someone's around. Hi, sweetie. Are you going to talk? Would you consider taking a bird like Merlin home? Yeah, I would. Do you want to come home to my house? What's the hesitancy? Or that wasn't hesitancy. No, no, that's not how. I'm just trying to be calm around him so he, I don't freak him out. Well, all. a bird like this, I can then come to your house and help you. You will come every day oh, to my yeah. house. I will make this bird like... Like, I, I love African Grays. They're my, like, specialty. You are so handsome. So, I love so them. handsome. Boy. So what does it take now if she wanted to adopt Merlin? Like, just give me the rundown on how that works now. Well, yeah, she did submit an application, which I have not reviewed yet. But yeah. Okay. Oh, I just got that. Oh, she submitted one already. Right. And um, she would need to take a basic bird care class. Good. That's right. good. Yeah. And we need to do a home visit. Okay. See what that sounds going on in the house and okay, okay. what might be dangerous for the bird. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. That right there is an outstanding parrot rescue. Application, bird class, home visit. Don't ever be offended. That's so, so essential to the safety of our birds. So many people are offended. You know, oh, that's you ridiculous. You can't come to my home. No. I you can't have my bird. Absolutely, absolutely. They shouldn't be offended. They need to know what it takes to rehome these birds and care for them. And if there's dangers in the home, or I, I agree with you 100%. 100%. And I think anybody that has good intentions with a bird, you put him back. Yeah, he, I feel like he wanted, he did a little yeah. pooping here, but I feel like he needed, he wanted to go back and stand. So and now when you're training him at home, you want to keep him away from that and get him relaxed in a new environment. Right. Once you put him back, it's a whole nother thing to get him out yeah. again. Okay. Well, we could see. We could see. He does look like a little hot. Yes, he is. And it's warm. Yeah. He's too warm. hot. He's he way too warm. Sweetheart. Yeah. Is yeah. I'm thinking I might even miss him. I would miss him. He looks like. Does he like mist? Um, he has, yeah. Would you go in the shower and take a shower? Yeah. He loves going in the shower. Do you love the shower? This is the one. I would. I'm serious. Yeah. This bird needs a, a, that kind of love. So look. handsome. You want to step up? Oh. oh, you're okay. You're okay. They do this. They trick you. They want head scratch, but and they. And then don't. they, they totally. It's okay, you need a little spritz. You need a spritzer. Yeah. I like the way that sprayed. Hi, baby. How are you? Now, will he be very, um, are, are African greys really, I mean, you said he was bonded to this woman for years. Are there any parrots that bond to several people, or is it usually just one you know, person? It's, it's individual with the birds. We've had, you know, some people say, oh, cockatoo only bond to one person, or a macaw. Right. No, that's not true. Um, it depends on the bird. Yeah. Now look at Jersey. She's a cockatoo that likes all the men that come yeah, in the house. Yeah, she does. There, yeah, there's a chance that you could take the bird home and it's only going to like you or your daughter, but that also right. depends on socialization. Right. If I took that bird and didn't hang out with the bird, when I saw that the bird liked me, if I just <laughs> took the bird and didn't let you hold it, then it's only going to like me. So if you're two people in a house, you have to like 50-50. You have to be like, listen, if you don't want the bird to hate you, you have to spend a good amount of time. And you have to let her spend that time. Right. Because the bird needs to be socialized. It needs to learn that it's going to be, to be here, it can be with everybody. The moment it senses one person likes it more or one person comes home and says hi to it, yeah. you don't come home and go right to the cage, it's going to get offended. Okay. And then it's that they person's out. do get out. offended if you don't say hi. I've seen it in her house. house. I have a friend who has 30 macaws, and she said that every single one of them needs a floor when she comes home. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I got to go hello to all my birds or they're yeah. offended. So they're, they're little beings in the house that they are like, are. I, I would love you. Like, why don't you come to me? Right, right. <sighs> they're so I can't. What's this bird's name? Precious. She's precious. 
your hair straight up matches the wall right now. I'm just trying to blend Like if in. I put you in front of the wall, Hi, just get in front of the wall for my own entertainment. Okay. How's that? Am I blending him? Am, am I just yeah. a giant face? Just oh, on the nice. bird? Yeah. because you have to have time to work with one, especially if you were to get the like, gray. Yeah. I feel like the gray came from a home with one woman and her daughter. And so like, I feel like you have to do what's right for you, but in my professional opinion of being of service to the birds in the world, I feel like anyone with a kid or anyone could come in and adopt this bird, but this bird doesn't have the biggest chance in the world and I can help you a lot with this bird and help the bird. Was she dancing? Yeah. She she's like the kind of bird that like almost anyone could come in and like bond with. Yeah. Which is a, which is it could be a good thing for you though. But, you know? Yeah. Are they also very possessive? Are they all birds can get possessive. It's all gonna be how you socialize. Them. Okay. Hi. Oh, cause you're my buddy. Oh, don't be a brat. Step up. Step up. I'm not gonna be Step up. Yeah, this bird's a little. She's like, no. You're a little terrorizer. I'm seeing you know, a little terrorizer when I see one. You are. You're so cute, though. You're so cute. <laughs> Look at you! What a cute little terrorizer. You're a ter She's cute. Everybody's looking over well, here. Well, see if you even know how to get her off. Okay, if I do know how to get her off, yeah. I just go to the cage at this point because they don't want her to bite my finger. Uh huh. What do you think? Hi. Look, she comes up to my cheek like yeah, this. Yeah, they're all so cute. I know that you get them home and then they and show then they you they're show. crazy. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Hi. Guys. Merlin saw us leaving and came down again, and now he's on Heather's Hi. shoulder. And you don't understand. You guys probably do understand how big this is for a gray. Oh, my sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi. This bird will give you so much more than oh. anything you could have ever imagined. So what would happen if you put your hand out for him to come? Are you going to talk? Yeah, do you see? Like, he's already comfortable. Are you going to talk? He'll come to me. You want to step up on my step knee? Up. So now I wonder if you would come back to Yeah, me it's all it's all up. progress. It's you all wanna step up on me? Step up? Good boy. See? Good boy. Who's such a good boy? Merlin's a good boy. Merlin's a good boy. Oh, what Who's a in the camera? Boy. Oh, you're so cute. What you are you handsome. Aww. You're the most handsome bird on the boat. Probably let her go. Though. Oh yeah. But let's put you. Do you want to go back to your house? You want to go back to your house? Oh, I got Kissy the wingy. I'm gonna steal the kisses on the way out. Ah! Oh. Oh. Did you get the kiss? Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet boy. You liked it. All right. We hope to see you soon, Merlin. Yeah. I guess we should let you get back to your work, but I appreciate everything you do for birds. Um, do all cats get that big? You have a bigger cat than that. I'm just curious because I'm a new cat owner, and I don't know. What a big bird! Oh, guys, I just got taught how to not get myself locked in the aviary. I didn't think we'd fall for a bird today, but I think there's two potential options. So Heather's going to think about it and she's going to get in touch with Rose and yeah, Rose is going to do her investigations. It's, it's a big deal. You have to think by yourself. Good point. Okay. And I can't get out of here! 
And guys, she's getting 30 new carrots soon, so adopt, don't shop. Right. Okay, guys, uh, we're leaving now. How Any do you suggestions? Feel? I oh, love no, them really both. Feel. I love. It's so hard because they each have their own specialness and their own qualities. And I know you love Merlin, and he is smart. My only concern is, do I have the fortitude to? And I don't know. To what do you work mean with the him? fortitude? I don't know. I just feel like he's going to be good in a few days. Is he going to bite my finger off? No. And like, Maybe. No. Yeah. It's just like the text I got. They got a cute little bird and that's what happened. But I know he's, because I did ask, she's like, this one, the one on the left was more, was more busy and loud. Yeah, but they get louder too when they're bonded with somebody. And Merlin wouldn't? He's Mer a talker. They don't. They talk. That's extremely entertaining. Yeah, it is. It's not like ah, 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 right, like right. A, like a. Well, a, that one mandate on your was loud. Yeah. The thing is, like Merlin arrived right there in in an hour. I just look at me. I'm like crying for. I just. And hearing his story. That's why she's saying you need to think by yourself because she knows I'll be an influence on you. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm telling you, like I should be an influence on you because. Well, like, you are. I mean, you are. You have all these uh, big animals, I do and then you want this little bird. But that bird, I wanted a cuddler too, and she cuddled. Do you my African gray cuddles? Like, you'll see. You never know. I don't like birds that are cuddlers. I you never do. get rid of them. You think you do. Until you can never do anything else. You can't clean the house. You can't have your guitar. You can't do anything because the bird has to be right here or it screams the house down. And then when you're busy doing your stuff and you're writing and it's chewing this. Yeah, but okay. What are the downsides of an African gray? You're going to, I mean, right? They've got to have... All things. birds have downsides. Right. They so what are their problems. downsides? What well, from what I see of Merlin... Might like not like people. Your other bird won't like people. That little bird won't go to any... He's not going to go to anyone. He nearly bit me when I tried to get him off of you. Yeah, but if he was just... If she was just with you by herself, more than likely, she would be fine and step up and do what you asked her. You'd be surprised. They become evil. That's why there are so many birds up for adoption. That's why people don't buy them. So you, you're leaning more towards a little bird? No, I don't know. I loved them both. I love them both for very separate reasons. I want to watch the video, maybe. Did you take, you talk, took video, right? Of both? Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand like what it is yet to be privileged enough to have an African gray. For an African gray to step on you and say, you know what, I like you. And when you understand that kind of privilege, you'll truly understand birds. Okay. You'll say to yourself, Because they are wow, kind of like the eagle of the bird It's kingdom, not that, they're, the that they're so special, it's that he decided you're special. And they don't decide that. Well, he decided you're special. Yeah, but initially. you see, that opened him up. He came to you too. He didn't just decide I'm special. And so as far as she's concerned, he said he hasn't gone to anybody. So here we have a bird that in 20 minutes, a bird that's been abandoned basically from an owner, just like you with a daughter for 20 years, finds his person. So you're saying that it is a meant to be, um, scenario. I honestly didn't. Uh, you could have gone to any place, any bird store, or any parrot rescue and found a little bird like that little conure. It's she not... is downplaying the bond that I just developed with that conure. That conure will step on somebody else and do the same thing. That African gray will I not. don't know. Sometimes I feel like the African, I'm a little scared of the beak. I'm a little scared, honestly, of him like ripping my finger No, off. that gray song do that. He's not going to bite my finger. I mean, you're going to get bit with any bird. And when right. the little ones hold on to you, it's, it's the worst. And grays. The gray, and then my daughter gets the pine. No, relax and think about one bird. The thing with birds is like animal lovers immediately want all the birds. But to be right, right for a I bird, know, you I have to want one no, bird. No, I knew enough. And I've watched enough videos, okay, 
for hours on end. Hours. Uh, I know enough about, about birds and stuff. I know I couldn't have that nan day. That would drive me nuts. I couldn't have the cockatoo. That would drive me nuts. The macaw, he was, somebody's gotta come get that macaw. Somebody does Somebody it. needs to pick up Ozzy. Okay guys, so obviously Heather has a lot of thinking to do and I hope she- Help me, help me Marlene's audience, help me please because I don't wanna make any stupid decisions. You don't wanna make stupid decisions but you also don't wanna make an influence. Plus don't let her twist my arm. I did want a girdle, girdle to cuddle with. Okay. But yeah. also, no, I know how smart that African greys are. And he was so sweet. And he stepped up and, and right? But he liked you initially. And then you educated me. So you really should watch your videos. Educated me on what to do and to put my hand out there for him to step up on. Remember? Oh, yes. And he left. He was so cute. I wanted to eat him. Not so eat him let, let me know what you think she should do. Ultimately, it's got to be her decision because, you know, you got to, like, get a bird that you And don't hate with. me for whatever bird I choose. Nobody Just will be hate glad. you because you rescued a bird. Right. If, if you decide to rescue a bird, you may not. Right. Maybe it's not for you. And she has 30 more coming. 30. Ozzy. Ozzy oh really God. needs a home. He does, and he's so cute, and he wants so, so bad. He wants so bad to be loved, and um, he's, you can tell he's just so willing to learn. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know your favorite part. Let me know what you think Heather should do. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Marlene McCohen. I'll, of course, keep you updated on this story. I mean, I think I know what she should do, but um, I guess you never know if you're not the person in this situation. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Bye. What?